Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doconic here, and a quick news update from the JP side of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Now we got new quests available, areas 25 through 27 were added, areas 25 to 26 have 8 stages, and area 27 only has 3. Uh, outside of that, we do have new Dragon Ball wishes. Uh, I do not have the translations at this time. I checked out everything that I could possibly check to try and get those for you. Unfortunately, I don't have them. I believe some of them are reversed openings and you get some more potential orbs if you want to grab them. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any official information or official translations. When that becomes available, I'll be doing a short PSA about that. Uh, outside of that, we know as you guys, if you saw my PSA from yesterday, we have the new pen, we have the new Rildo. We also have a new Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta Baba card in the Baba Shop for 777 gems. I'm going to be going over that in a little bit. By the way, shout out to Zahal. Thank you for the information. Thank you for letting me know about the new areas and everything. I wouldn't be able to get this for you without him giving us this information. Um, real quick, I also want to throw a shout out to Hatsusama7. Now, if, you don't, if you're on Twitter, you should consider following this guy. He does a lot of data mining and he grabs all the new card art and information as it comes out on the JP side of Dokkan Battle. So go ahead, follow him over there, throw on some notifications, because once this stuff gets downloaded and is available, he's on it. And he posts the information up. Granted, you're not going to be able to get the translations, but you could at least take a look at the new card art when it becomes available and you can be ahead of the curve when you know what's going on and you know what to look for. Uh, anyway, so these three, you can see over here, we got the purple guy, the red guy, and the blue guy. Now, the reason why I'm calling them that is because not a lot of you may not know who they actually are. So, we have Abo. Abo is the blue short little round thing. And then Kato is his brother, which is the red one. Now, he, those two actually come from the movie Yo, Son Goku and His Friends Return, which is a Japanese exclusive. Um, if you haven't seen that, oh, I'm sorry, I apologize. It was a pretty cute, decent movie. I liked it. Um, I'm not going to go over the actual movie here, but the two of them merge into this one big purple being. And essentially, he's supposed to be named Avocado. You know, haha, <laughs> Avocado. Anyway, um, the alternate name is Akka, which is apparently supposed to be someone to that race. I'm just on the wiki, so I don't know any of this stuff is official. But anyway, um, they merge into him. And then we also have on the bottom right the Dr. Kachin. Dr. Kachin is from the World's Strongest uh, video. I think that was one of the first Dragon Ball Z movies that were out. One of the first. Um, anyway, uh, he is from that, that, that one, that's the one with Dr. Wheelow. We also have an image of Piccolo being mind controlled. This is when he goes after Goku and Gohan. Um, that, those two are both from the World's Strongest video, so there's two different movies here. These guys are just for quests. They have nothing to do with the actual gameplay. You can't use these characters at this time. Maybe we'll be able to use them in the future. Maybe we won't. Who knows? We don't have any information at this time about that, though. Uh, outside of that, let's go ahead and talk about the new cards. We have the two new support agility cards, the Pan and the Rildo. Let's go ahead and talk about them. Uh, this is going to be their card review. Heavy Tactics, Hyper Meta Rildo. He has a leader skill of agil extreme agility type key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack, Hyper Meta Rildo Punch, greatly raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, Commanding General, Agility Type Key plus 3, and Extreme Agility, Attack and Defense plus 40%. Link skills are Loyalty, Thirst for Conquest, Auto Regeneration, GT, Mechanical Menaces, and Shocking Speed. His max stats are HP of 83.35, Attack of 86.80, and Defense of 42.33. He has 12 Key Multiplier of 135%. You can increase his Super Attack with the Encompassing Destroyer Hyper Meta Rildo. Now, he is an SSR that can see BZ Awakened to an SR, I mean, an uh, Ultra Rare. Now, unfortunately, you're going to have to grind him out from one of the GT events, and he has his base form. So that's actually the Dokken Awakening form of the Mighty Machine Mutant General Rildo. Now, this one is available on the Dragon Ball GT event, the Black Star Dragon Ball Saga. So he's actually, you're going to have to grind him out from level 9 General Rildo. So you grind out 9 General Rildos. You're going to have to get the base form, and he has the Dokken Awakening, which you're going to have to grind out a whole bunch of metals, like 7 Trunks, 7 Pan, uh, what is it, 7 Super Sigma, uh, 7 Dr. Mew, and one of the Goku GT medals. I believe that Goku GT medal you actually have to purchase in the Baba Shop. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. But once you Dokken Awaken him, he goes Hyper Meta Rildo. Then you can raise the Super Attack up to level 10 once you Z Awaken him for that 100% chance, and you can feed him into here. Uh, that way he hits harder. I mean, he already has to greatly raise his attack so and a Supreme Damage modifier. So when you get up to Super Attack 10, I'm sure he's going to be hitting a lot harder. Uh, that's a grind for you guys if you want to do that. Uh, he's pretty cool. I like him. He links well. He has good uh, passive skill. Obviously, he's the support unit for the extreme types. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the Pan Tr Tomboy Troublemaker Pan GT. Her leader ability is Super Agility Type Key plus 3, HP Attack, and Defense plus 50%. Her Super Attack is Dangerous Combination, causes Supreme Damage to the enemy, and all allies attack plus 25% for one turn. Unfortunately, that means she would have to attack first, and you're really not going to want her to attack first on that team. At least I wouldn't recommend it anyway. Uh, passive skill, 
Steering of Adventure. Agility, key plus three. Super agility, attack and defense plus 40%. I wonder how hard Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is going to hit now. <laughs> Link skills are all in the family. Saiyan lineage, Battlefield Diva, GT, Shocking Speed, and the Innocence. Max stats are HP of 95, 53. Attack of 81, 25. And defense of 44, 18. And she has a 12 key multiplier of 135%. Unfortunately, she is not grindable. But she's a decent character to have if you want to increase the support of your team. Um, I guess if you had her and that Super Saiyan Goku, the agility one, the token wake, is that gives everyone uh, 20%. The two of them would come in really handy together because they're going to be buffing the team very, very well. As long as you have them off rotation, so that way they constantly switch around. Um, but, alright, uh, let's go ahead. I'm actually going to show you their super attacks right now. I'm going to go ahead and do the Hyper Meta Rildo, and then I'm going to do the Pan GT. Sorry for not doing them right after the reveal. Let's go ahead and jump into the pen. So let's go ahead. There's one more card that I want to talk about. That is the Passion Beyond Pride Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Um, he's kind of getting a bad rep right now, but I kind of like him. His leader skill is all types key plus 2, attack and defense plus 30%. His super attack final flash causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, repetitive combat, defense plus 80% at the start of the turn. Attack plus 20% when attacked by opponent, a max of 80%. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior is Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Prodigies, and Prepare. Battle. His max stats are HP of 84.39, attack of 73.44, and defense of 45.11. It's a 12 key multiplier of 130%. Now, here's the thing, I like him because at defense buff, when you're running him on a 120 Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku lead, he's gonna be a freaking tank. He's gonna be blocking everything. He's gonna have that defense plus 80%, and yes, while his uh, while he's not gonna be attacking hard, after a while he will attack hard. I mean, 80%, 80%, that's amazing. Uh, just throw him in there. He's literally meant to be attacked because he is a tank, and the more he gets attacked, the stronger he gets, up to 80%. He will be doing decent damage. I'm not saying he's the best card in the game at all, by no means. He's not even someone who I would consider to be an optimal unit. If you are someone, though, who is lacking good units, he is not bad. Don't think he's bad just because he's not optimal. He is a good tank. You're going to want to run him on a team, especially if you have that Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. You might want to consider grabbing him. So that way he can tank for you. Plus he, you know, he's a Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan on a hero team. I mean, come on, you're in a, you need Super Saiyans. And he has prepared for battle to hit off some key links. But anyway, guys, that's all the information. Like I said earlier, um, I will have those Dragon Ball uh, wishes translated for you at some point. Once I once I find those, when they, when they are translated, I'll make sure to do a small two-minute PSA. Stay tuned for tomorrow. I'm going to be going over the other world tournament and the rewards for the world tournament that's going to be coming out next week. Those rewards have been announced. Unfortunately, I do not have enough time. I don't want to do two videos or one video on both the JP and the global side, so I'll be releasing that tomorrow when the Other World Tournament event comes out. So stay tuned for that and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you guys down in the comments below.